Hey guys, uh, welcome to my video. Um, today uh, I just discovered that uh, on the first floor, um, some places on the floor is warm and some places is cold. We have currently uh, floor heating all over the house, but the upstairs the heating is little bit strange. Therefore, uh, I come down in this uh, uh, technical room where our heating system is installed. Uh, as you can see, this is our uh, Gemina Thermix heating system. And I'm going to look uh, how to solve this issue because I couldn't understand why um, there are some places of the floor is cold and some places uh, warm. And uh, now I found out that um, if you guys uh, quick close look in this pier, that is shows uh, one bar currently. So this means that um, the water can be lifted uh, up to 10 meters high. So now uh, we are going to add uh, some water and uh, see if it will uh, rise up. Um, in order to do that, uh, we need to get uh, some water from the pipe here that is already running inside uh, this um, uh, place here, which is the uh, heating, the warm uh, pipes are connected to this guy here. So let's see, uh, first of all, this Mac, we have to make sure this is closed. Then um, we open this one here. And let's measure what is the, how big is this? So you guys can see it. So it's about uh, 26 uh, millimeter. Um, this is uh, something either uh, you make uh, yourself or uh, maybe uh, you can uh, go to the local uh, shop and buy it uh, ready. But uh, I guess uh, about one meter, one and a half meter should be uh, enough uh, enough for this job. But of course, again, you have to check the distance between this uh, two that you need to connect to the water. Uh, I have a smaller one here, so therefore I got a, an extension, which I will use it here. Like that. Yes, then I will connect that side on this. I have to connect it very good. Okay, that's done. Then we will open here and this is about this is about uh, 22 millimeter and we screw here the other end like that so these two now are connected so in this case we get the key number eight and we have to open the water here okay guys uh, once the connection is done you simply open a little bit here 
like that. Then you activate the water very, very little. Once you turn it on, then you will see the water will start increasing. Okay, now it's done. We just simply close first here and then we close here. That's it. Now we will get a small bucket just to remove the pipe. Just make sure it doesn't come any water on the floor. You can just keep the bucket under if you want. It's up to you. And what is when it's done, put everything in the bucket and then we remove the pipe from the other side as well. And then leave it in the bucket and then let the water run inside there. Then we simply close here after we're done with it. All right. And now uh, we have to double check that um, there is no air inside the pipes otherwise we will have still the issue that the water going up and down so we will put the bucket here and we will open open a little bit on the top and then we remove the the wall air from it now once we start leaking little water we just close it then that's it Then we remove also this guy here, like that. Screw back and close it so it doesn't run any water. Okay, our uh, heating uh, system is uh, serviced. Uh, now we can enjoy the uh, floor heating again. Thank you guys uh, for watching. Uh, I hope um, you like the video and uh, if you guys have uh, similar issues, uh, please let me know. Looking uh, forward to your comments. Thank you. Bye.